hello guys welcome back to my channel please like subscribe and share you can even download today we're making giz dough dough so get your plantain and your gizzard ready so you have to boil your um, gizzard of course you wash it and you boil it for 15 17 minutes just season it and then please don't not do not buy plantain that is too ripe so once you peel your plantain just dice in cubes it can be as big as you want as in the dicing but do not make it too tiny so just dice your plantain as you can see me do here and then transfer into a bowl and then of course you dice your um onions your scotch bonnet your tomatoes of course let everything you're using be fresh use fresh tomatoes fresh scotch bonnet uh fresh um garlic yeah I'll, I'll be using garlic for this purpose then the num the the quantity of our scotch bonnet you use is dependent on how pepper you want it to be in this part we take pepper a lot so don't be surprised with the number of scotch bonnets um i'll be using for this purpose so let's get back to our gizzard so this is 17 minutes later uh, ignore the chicken there. I'm using it for something else. Yeah, so our gizzard is ready. And now we get to the frying levels. Yeah. So from here, henceforth, all we do is fry, fry, fry. <laughs> okay. So you salt your plantain slightly. Please do not over salt it. And then you fry till it is golden brown. Make sure that the veg oil is hot before you put in your plant your diced plantain else it is going to come out soaked so let your um veg oil be fried before putting in your plantain okay so while we're frying that let's cut her gizzard so make sure it is not too tiny and not too big so here is my gizzard cut and that's my garlic that i'll be using for the frying yeah so let's go back to our plantain so this is the golden brown you should achieve if you buy plantain that is too ripe you're not going to achieve this look it will come much mushy in a way it won't be nice just buy plantain that is not that ripe that's not overly ripe so that is what we want to achieve so let's go to frying a gizzard do not use too much oil just use a little small quantity then you put your onions and then you had you add your garlic of course allow it to fry a bit and then you put your tomato uh you sorry you put your um gizzard you see this gizzard does not have to be um deeply fried it does not have to be crunchy digger because uh well if you want the crunchy yeah but for the purpose of giz dodo it's better not overly crunchy like you want to make stew with it do you understand so you don't need to remove it so once it is fried to the level you want just add your tomatoes your scotch bonnet and your onions do you, do you get so the quantity it depends on how you want um the quantity of tomatoes you want in it and then i used just a bit of um, um maggi just a little because i had that um the stock of the chicken i added a bit of it so i had it just a bit of maggi i did not even use salt at all at all so i used um stick seasoning stick seasoning as it tones like it's a seasoning so you don't even need salt once you use else it's going to be salty uh bearing in mind that you already uh, salted your fried plantain so once you know it is ready you can just do this for like two three minutes of uh, you can fry for like two three minutes i mean the gizzard and then you fry the other ones for like two minutes before putting in your fried plantain and then you stay you stay for about uh just few minutes three to four minutes keep stirring so that everything will incorporate and then 
ta-da, your gizzard is ready. Sorry, your gizzard is ready. Um, the reason you're not putting too much, uh, you didn't put too much veg oil, it's because of this. When you're heating gizzard, it's not supposed to be dripping vegetable oil. It can make it boring. Take it. Um, so this is a gizzard, it is ready. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it pleasing to the eyes? Please remember to like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. And I am on Instagram as Antomite Kitchen. Thank you. Bye.